Okay, so it's sunny today, so you can't see the full extent of how ruined this road is. But this is the road to where I ride and where the horses are kept. And, um, yeah. There's a, a fair few um, uh, potholes here and um, I'm constantly swerving the car to try and avoid them. And then, you know, you try and avoid them slightly more and then there's just like that and it's just, it's not a good time. It's, it's never a good time in winter. So this is the uh, permanent state or worse of my riding boots in winter. We've got a bit of a crinkling here. Um, we've got some uh, rubbing uh, from me not being able to use my legs properly. And uh, yeah, looks great. Um, yep, and even on the toe, which uh, yeah, it's great. And this is the permanent state of my car in winter, just constantly this dirty. Like, always this dirty. Like, why even bother cleaning it anymore? Yep, no, this is great. I love doing this every day, especially in these riding boots. We got through! I hate my life. Does winter suck? Winter quite literally turns my pony into a form of cow and also makes my old horse look like a RSPCA case. Look at that chin fur. How is that possible? How, what, what is with the chin fur? That's like not horse, that's cow. Oh my God, I swear Australia doesn't even have winter, says the person who has never been to Australia. Ew. But the thing is, are these waterproof enough to clean them in a stream? Okay. Hmm. Better. Yes, love me some mud all over my horse. I love cleaning that off. I love having to hose before I even brush. And this is a fairly new rug. He got it probably like two weeks ago. Already looks like it's two years old. And now we're gonna take it off. We're gonna take off a lot of them. This is a rug. <laughs> Why is my camera doing what it wants? Alright, we have numero one rug being taken off. This is a 6'6 uh, six, six true blue Euro Hunter from Bonnet Saddlery in South Australia. It cost like $120. And he's already ripped one of the straps off and it was repaired last week. Now we have numero two rug. This is also a Euro Hunter, and funnily enough, they all are because they're the cheapest rugs I can find, basically. And he likes to kill them. And this is a snuggly stable rug. Not that it's used for the stable. I also like this detailing and ombre effect he's given it. I don't know how much fill any of these are because uh, I just put what 
seems to make them comfortable. And then we have the last, another Euro Hunter, funnily enough. They are all 6'6. Six, six. Apparently, they do not fit their bum, his bum, quite, almost, but not quite. They still are too small. And uh, this is some detailing that Jerry has given it. He's given it a bit of a rip, you know, just for some aeration here and there. And now we have my rubbed horse. As you can see, we have some leftover uh, baby powder from yesterday because he has the most angular hips in the world. He also has rubs even here because for like two weeks I just had the stable rug on and the other one and it had a seam here and so it rubbed his bum because he's that angular. Then we have my named bib which it has got not one, not two, but three patches from where he's ripped it. Here we have the glorious shoulder rub, which he is wrapping quite nicely this year. And here's my scrawny clipped winter horse. Now we have mainly demudded the legs. I haven't been as great as I normally am because it took about took about five minutes of time that I don't have because in winter in this area of Australia oh, it all rhymed it gets dark about three hours earlier than in summer so aka it's gonna be dark in like 45 minutes and as much as I love riding in the pitch black um, I would prefer not doing that and I'm joking I hate doing I hate riding and tacking up and everything to do with being in the dark with horses because screw that and so I'm just gonna leave him kind of half done in the mud in the demudding so I'm just gonna brush where the girth is because um I got no time and uh, what I love about winter is you have to groom about three times as much to demud them, but you have about half the amount of time that you normally would because of the daylight. Or lack of daylight, I should say. Now I've recently, I've recently, <laughs> now I've recently started tacking decks up in this little enclosure because he's recently found it incredibly fun to pull back and break my halter or the twine or the lead rope and run off back to his paddock. He hasn't done it for a while now but he was like doing it every time I tucked him up and I turned my back or I went around the other side of the float and um by the time I went down there, I couldn't hardly tell him off for it because the behavior had already happened. Oh my God, you're silly. No, it's only a handful of shaft. Because then he'd let me catch him, so I couldn't like punish him because then he wouldn't want to come to me in the paddock. So, yeah. I started packing him up in this yard so he cannot get away. It was all right in summer because then I could drive my car down. He'll happily trot with the car and I'll lead him out the window which I don't know how safe that is but uh, I've been doing it for a while with him and I've never had any problems and that was fine in summer to do because I could just take the car down there and it wouldn't take that much time but in winter where my time is very limited by the light and I can't drive on there because it's too wet it does not help just putting on my total saddle fit shoulder relief gear. It's fine, I love it so much. Uh, oh my god, promo, so swans, hashtag swans, hashtag ad. What else was I gonna say? Oh, and currently uh, Jerry is out because he pulled a muscle in the paddock. Not sure how, but uh, I'm blaming Winter for it. I am blaming the winter for it. Missed your face. Mate, you're muddy. What is this halter? Uh, the uh, halter can be uh, found at startboxshop.com.au I don't know if it's dot, yeah it should be dot au <laughs> oh my god hashtag spawn 
<laughs> also, I uh, currently cannot use the big arena up the top of the hill because it was getting remade properly this time and they started doing it a bit too late in the year and it was too wet to set so now I have to wait till summer to use a proper arena which I mean it's not too bad because I can like go for trail rides but um my dressage is suffering also does anyone know any inserts that you can get for Charles Owen helmets because like at this point the amount of makeup on mine here is actually disgusting and I'm trying to like not get heaps of makeup on my new one but the chances are it will be very makeup very soon also I'm really hoping that cloud back there is not wet and my camera will be fine sitting out here but the chances are and with my luck as of currently I don't think that'll be a thing and it probably will spit or rain not sure the sun's coming out the sun's coming out for a sunset and this is when I film my videos and then international people are like not saying you're lying but your winter doesn't look like winter and I'm like yeah that's because I film when it's like decent weather I don't like filming when it's pouring with rain so I'm pretty much tacked up now no professional horse wrangler well-renowned horse professional <laughs> hit me up if you know where that's from <laughs> whose website says that or used to say that is that tea not sure I think it's just saying a fact in a in a slightly sarcastic tone of voice oh my god he's chewing on the bit that means He's in pain. I am going to get so many dislikes on this video, Dexter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in such a, such a sarcastic mood lately because uh, I was supposed to be in the, going to the US yesterday with my the rest of my whole family, basically, because my brother's wedding is in two weeks. And the passport office stuffed up. I asked to pick up my passport because I knew that it would probably get lost in the mail if they sent it or it probably would take a while to get to me if they sent it and I needed it like in a week basically and despite that they sent it for some reason and it got lost in the mail they sent it to the wrong address they sent it to my residential address which I never get the mail from, from that they sent it when they weren't supposed to to the wrong address and then they lost it and then for some reason they didn't put in a tracking number like they didn't scan in the tracking number so no one knows where it is so my passport is completely lost and I'm missing out on a holiday now and I'm gonna have to travel in the next few days or a week away tops and try and sort it out it's not fun at all is a Dexter and Dexter is going to my trainers like Jerry went earlier in the year Dexter's a good boy but Dexter hopefully will be sorted out because he is a big strong animal and sometimes I can't control him because he's too strong for me oh my god train him better then feel free to train him for me to make him soft and supple while jumping and doing cross country because this horse Despite how, how crazy he looks right now, he's actually really calm jumping. I'm being completely sarcastic. It is the opposite. Oh my god, you look so pretty. Oh my god, Tumblr, Insta. Oh my god, them rubs. So hot right now, Dex. God, I need to stop being so sarcastic. Ah! I promise, he's crazy. Crazy horse. I love you. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, he's crazy. Can't control him. Thanks, horse. Didn't need that on the fence. Wanted that on the ground. Yep. So, as you can tell, it is much later and darker, and I just finished my ride on Mr. Dex, and he was okay. He was good at first and then he got a bit zazzed up and 
wasn't so good and then he settled a bit more just at the end and I did heaps of stretchy trot at the end and he was really good with that. You are such a loud drinker. Still going? Okay. But anyway, I'm going to finish this rant kind of video. This rant slash tuck up video because it is getting a bit too dark and I want to go home. And I got to rug up this little guy with a million rugs. It's only three, but it can feel like a million when it's this dark and you want to go home. What even is that noise? It always looks so much lighter on camera. It's so dark right now. But this is how I'm currently how I'm trying to get rid of Dexter's rug rubs. I basically completely coat his rub parts in baby powder. And it smells like a baby in here. In here. Out here. <laughs>